Summer is almost here, although checking the temperature, I think it might be here. It, right? And that means it's pool season. Yeah, Ashley Williams is live with some ways to stay safe in the water. Hi, Ash. Oh, hi, guys. You know what I love about uh, live television is it's live. So I thought that was a tease. So walk with me. We're going to learn uh, <laughs> some information today. We're talking about <laughs> we were talking about backyard pool safety. Um, there are some staggering statistics. I'm going to start with the one every single year. 75 families lose uh, a, a toddler, a preschooler under the age of five to unfortunate drowning. This is Chris Vessel with SAC Metro. Chris, good morning. Good morning. I just gave them the, the whole thing. I thought this was a tease, so thank you for being on the no spot. No problem. Right? We're ready for you. Let's do we, it. We are ready. Uh, so this morning we're talking all things uh, safety when it comes to specifically the summertime and kids in the backyard. Can you give me just a few statistics because they really are staggering is the word I like to use this morning. It is. In California, we lose 75 children a year due to drowning in backyard pools. It is the biggest cause of death for preschoolers and toddlers in the Sacramento region. And for every child that doesn't die, there are four more that go to the hospital with some kind of severe injury. So it is very important. It is important. It's so it's it's tragic and it's so sad just to think about any family that might be going through that. So right now, guys, we wanted to actually kind of just give you a visual. We have some kiddos um, having fun in the pool right now. We see the lifeguard on duty. Um, so what are just some of the most important things to know when your kids are outside swimming? I know there's something like the ABCs. You're not going to sing the whole alphabet, but the ABCs are really the most important. That'd be way too long. So we kept it simple, three steps. There's adult supervision, and we have a water watcher over here demonstrating somebody watching kids in the pool. If you're having a backyard party, kids are playing in the pool, the adults are drinking, barbecuing, not really paying attention, just make sure somebody's committed to watching the children. The next thing is some kind of a border or barrier, a non-scalable fence in this case. And what that does is that keeps your kids out of the pool when you're not out there not supervising them. And then finally, CPR in classes. We want people to take classes, know about water safety, of course, learn CPR, and we have one coming up on Zoom, which we'll provide the information yeah. for as well. Yeah. And obviously you are always just on the forefront, on the front lines all the time, and I'm sure you have seen the most unfortunate of situations, but what generally seems to be the one thing that you notice that's the most common situation when you are, are going to save lives? People aren't paying attention. Uh, not all kids are strong swimmers, so we want them to wear a life jacket or some kind of flotation device, ideally U.S. Coast Guard approved. Uh, a lot of times they think that other kids are watching, but when a kid goes underwater, they can't make noise, they can't scream, they can't flap their arms and splash. The other children aren't paying attention like a responsible adult will be. Yeah, yeah, and it's interesting too. I know, Jordan, we've been talking about the heat. Uh, it's going to be a hot week. It's going to be a hot one today specifically. If people want to get more information um, in terms of keeping their family safe, especially um, as, as the temperatures continue to rise, how can they do that? Best way to do it is we'll post the link on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with a Zoom class coming up by the Southgate Park and Recreation District on water safety. And you can also come to Southgate Recreation District or Safe Kids Sacramento for more information. Awesome. Chris, thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, let's hear it for Chris Vessel. And, of course, our lovely models for the day, uh, the kiddos who are having fun in the pool. That was a great tease, wasn't that, guys? Yeah. yeah. Great tease. Yeah. Nice, nice tease. That, that was a good <laughs> segment, two-and-a-half, three-minute length tease. It's always <laughs> exciting to see that look of... Oh, no, the in your panic. reporter's yeah. eyes. Yeah. That's great. Thank you, Ashley. Good info.